What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Pasta Custom Garage. If you saw my last video, you'll notice that I mentioned something about an FE. Well, today begins the build of the 390. What vehicle is the 390 gonna go into? We have no idea. Maybe a jet boat, maybe 32 Ford, maybe a 67 Fairlane in the future, maybe a, a ratty 67 F100 that we race. It may be all of the above. I'm not sure, but we're gonna build this motor because we have it and we're slowly collecting parts. So we have pistons. We have basically the entire sh shore block except cam. But so we're gonna start uh, by painting it and installing the crank. So let's see what we can get done. Got this thing primered. The reason we're not painting the oil pan is because we're, we're just probably around a different oil pan. This is more just to cover the bottom in so we don't have to tape it. But got the motor painted. Now just let it sit in the weather and kind of dry. All right, what are we doing now, Dad? Putting in the main bearings on the 390, which here's something to notice. They don't drill the holes. <laughs> All the holes in the bearings are the same, but Oh well, I guess enough oil gets up there. Yeah. Ignore the uh, Oop, little on. streak down there. Is the thrust bearing in the middle one too? Yes. Look, just like small block forward. Gotta repaint this on the side since somebody cleaned it and. Yep. Yep. The solution dripped down. I right, got the crank in. So this is a 390 crank, but the block's actually 360. So this motor started out as a 360 and a 67 F100 we used to have. So we converted it to a 390 because the bore is the same, just the stroke is different. So and the connecting rods are longer. And the connecting rod, the rods are longer. So we got 390 crank. Then we got some rods. 390 rods, and we got some 390 uh, sealed power pistons. So we're converting a 360 to a 390. Now time for the main caps. All right, got the main caps on with the main bolts and put the thread sealer on them as you use this blue thread locker. Now to torque them. Torque is, I believe, it's Summit says FEs are 95 to 105, so we're going to split it in the middle and do a hundo. So the pattern is boom, 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 boom. boom. Let's do this. Let's put a pin in there. Let's put a pin in there so it doesn't. Hey, at least these don't have like an angle. We got to do that too. Yeah. All right, got the pistons and connecting rods kind of all laid out. These are fl uh, full floating style wrist pins with the snap rings. Um, the piston rings we're going with are some mollies. So the oil ring goes on first. It's that groove right there. Then the pink one goes on next, which is the thicker compression ring goes right there. It's the middle one. Then the green thinner one is the top one. So this is how you assemble a connecting rod and piston assembly the correct way right yes the correct way the correct way so first off you're going to lube the smaller end of the connecting rod and that the wrist pin goes through you're going to lube up the wrist pin real good like so then you're going to stall the wrist pin on the side push it through and once you got it through you want a little bit of the grooves to show and that's exactly where the snap ring goes. Some of them have snap rings, the full floating to do, the semi-floating or the press fit, and like those over there, but we're not gonna show you all those. This, that, those, that was a big oof. Yeah. You snap ring them and make sure to stand away. So if it pops, you don't lose an eye out. 
I'm losing eye. All right, got the pistons all assembled. We are ready to put them in the block, except for one little obstacle we ran into. We lost a connecting rod bolt nut. So, we may get ARP ones. I'm not sure. We may try to find one around here. Probably going to find the right one. It's around here somewhere because we've had these. We've had all this for like two years. We're just not putting it together. But it's around here somewhere. So, we're going to look for it. If not, we go ARP. But we're still going to set all of them in the piston in the block. Just not going to torque them. So this is me at a stopping point today's video. Got a lot done. We are gonna wait on the pistons. Just I like I know, like I said in the last clip that one of them is missing a nut and we may install them just not torque them, but I think we're gonna wait until we get some bolts so we can actually just put them in for, for good. Um so we still need an oil pump pickup tube and an oil pan because we have this oil pan right here that came with it. Because this truck came out of a truck. This truck came out of a truck. What am I even saying? This motor. There we go. This motor came out of a truck. And my 428 and my 66 F100 has a car oil pan. And where the drain plug is located, it's a very odd place. And to drain the oil is a pain in the rear end. So I may keep this oil pan and put it on my 428. So it'll be a lot easier. Since that is a truck oil pan, then we may get a Milodin or a Morso or any aftermarket oil pan for this. Since more than likely this will be going in the car. I don't know yet. It's... It's going to go in something, obviously, but it'll probably be a car. So, that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you like Ford content, this is the place for you. If you like old cars, this is the place for you as well. So, thank you all so much for watching today's video, and see you on the next one. Peace out.